How do you pregame going to Epcot Center? You blast the classic area music. I'll link the playlist in the description. I won't forget this time. Oh, it's a beautiful night to be in Epcot. Are you ready? I'm still ready. Do you want to go on Nemo? Ooh, how's he doing? Good. I think if he's chill, I think we keep strolling. And we head to the showcase. Let's talk about it. Okay. <laughs> okay, we decided on Nemo. Five minute wait and he's awake. Right, he wasn't, he wasn't awake the last time, so. Are you ready for Nemo? <laughs> like, come on, like this. Here comes Dory. Wow. Alrighty, we got an hour of park time. So we're gonna go to the World Showcase. He's just chilling. I don't wanna put him back in the best night yet because he's just. He's been looking around like. Soaking in the sights and sounds of Epcot. Right, really taking it in. Let's see what magical chalk art is here. Gorgeous. <laughs> a lot of beautiful non-Disney pieces tonight. There is a Marvel fine art booth this year. This is cool. All right, we switched roles. Since Jamesy Boy's still vibing, we're gonna try to get a Grand Fiesta tour. Can you see right, how baby. big my smile is under my mask? You can, I can feel it. Oh, uh, we've seen a lot of the our Festival of the Arts characters. We have not seen Dante yet. How cute. It's special because Jamesy was born on Dia de los Muertos. Yes. Look at this. It's basically a walk-on. That family in front of us was actually parking their strollers when we were parking ours. Ooh. Panchita, we're coming for you. So the cast was really nice and asked us if we wanted front row or our own boat. Yeah. So we opted for our own boat. And we're in the second row, which is basically front row. Yeah. So nobody's in the front row. It feels great to hear like the clanks of the knives and forks again at the restaurant yeah. side here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> So we're gonna get crazy with ourselves. I just looked at my phone and it says Frozen Ever After is 15 minutes. What? It's 7.30, which kind of makes sense. It's the Monday end of the park day. So yeah. we're gonna 
mid-February. Grab the stroller and just park it at the next pavilion and hope to get on Frozen before the park closes. Goodness! While he's still Can awake! You believe it, it's the most busy Epcot day ever. Here we go! Alrighty, baby! No. It was like a five minute wait, I felt yeah. like. Not even a 15. Yeah. Another boat ride, baby. We're going up to Elsa's ice house. What did you think, Jamesy? Did you love it? Do you see yourself over there? Oh, there there you see did you love it? I think he liked Nemo the most. Yeah. So we wanted to see if we'd go in the bath tonight just to like chill and maybe fall asleep because he has been awake for some time. Look at the clutches. Don't hide it from me. I must see World Showcase Lagoon. All right, Sarah wanted a cookie. So she's gonna you go. You wanted to make cookies <laughs> or go to Epcot. I was like, we need to go to Epcot. So Sarah's gonna take James around the fountain and I'm gonna see what is left here in the caramel couche. I may have been, I've been saying this a lot, I think, but I think this is my favorite pavilion at Epcot. What do you think? Oh gosh. Is he squirming? A little bit. He can smell the cookies. We got two cookies. He probably doesn't like it. He can oh, feel. He doesn't go. like when anything is on there. He like always kicks it off. Let's go to this this garbage can real quick, so I can show the deliciousness. So this is an apple caramel pecan cookie. Ooh. This is a chocolate chip with caramel on top. Oh my gosh, that's the both worlds. Is this one apple or pecan? Apple and pecan. Ooh. Sometimes at the most magical pavilion at night, magical things happen. The timing. Uh, Nick, a wonderful cast member at the Pretzels Un Beer. Yeah. R.I.P. Stacy. It's such a big bag. Give us a pretzel. And it's so nice and soft. And we have a whole pavilion to we walk around. Eat it. I think Italy. Okay. But we have a whole world showcase to walk around still. Sarah's staging a cute picture, but look at the deliciousness that we're about to ensue in our stomach. Salty. Look at her. Stroller. <laughs> That's all Sarah. We're having just a good time. How's that cut in your mouth? All the salt. <clears throat> it's actually fine. That just like, I think I just lost a whole layer of my tongue. I just ate so much salt. How's that pretzel? Look. Oh. oh, I got it. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. We've been hanging out with these bats. They're having such a fun time. They really are. <laughs> I'm doing a good job. <laughs> right as we're getting ready to rock and roll, a wedding party is walking in to go to the American Pavilion for probably a a, cer uh, a party, not a ceremony, but you never know. You see Spaceship Earth? <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful, right? We turn the corner to see Spicy Birth and he just starts tick chatting. Uh huh. Wow. Do you have anything else to say? Oh. Epcot's officially his favorite. Truly. Look who it is, it's Eve. We're getting ready for some bath time and Peter is shifting his off day again. Yeah. So the funny thing about like the way my running schedule works, I get two off days a week. 
and I skipped a run a couple of weeks ago. But I didn't skip it. I like shifted the off day. But then now, ever since then, I've been like been running the proper amount of miles every week. But I need to make up a run. So it's like I still have this pending run that like I'm supposed to be off Mondays and Fridays. But instead of being off, I was planning on run to, running today. But instead, I'm going to shift it to Friday because I just did my long run yesterday where I ran 10 miles. So. It's just like I like the flexibility of the schedule because it makes me doesn't doesn't make me feel bad because I'm running a lot each week still and consistently. It's just I need to make up these miles. February eighth, a true relationship is two unperfect people refusing to give up on each other. Anonymous. Evie. Hi. You going night night? There's a great big beautiful tomorrow. It's one of the songs we sing to James. Get stuck in your head. I haircut so bad. I need to shave. Mm. I need to shower. Leave I need to go on a walk. Below. I need to eat some vegetables. It's good to be home. I'll leave a comment below saying, I Peter. Like, I felt like Jack Nicholson just now. <laughs> Peter, make a haircut appointment. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.